I mean, look at this! This is crazy! Right? Hi, welcome back to Jack's News First Edition. Today we are reporting on the scene of the third snow day that Michigan Tech has had this year. But we are not getting soft as Huskies. Do not get it confused. Last night, it looked like that scene out of the thing. For 100,000 years, it was buried in the snow and ice. We had around 12 inches of snow in six hours and combined that with high speed winds and it created a scene, well, like this. So come along with Grant and I, we're gonna show you around the scene of Michigan Tech on the snow day. Come with us. Special news from Cedric Kennedy. Cedric sent us this photo of a snowbank that overtook his driveway. But Cedric showed that snowbank who's boss. Just look at his happy face after he took it over. Speaking of a snowbank overtaking your driveway, my roommate got his car stuck last night and it took a total of eight hours for him to get it out. He called the towing company and they actually had to turn him down because such a high number of people were calling at the time. So if you can, stay inside Huskies and stay warm. Eyewitness report on the scene here. The Husky statue saw the entire blizzard happen last night. Husky, what do you have to say about it? He's not very talkative. I think he's still a little frozen. Back inside! There's ice on the inside right now. Look at this. We're not soft. We're not soft. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Earlier today on Facebook, I saw a picture from the last blizzard, the last big blizzard like this, from 1978 with cars buried in the snow. And it reminded me of another picture I saw today from my friend Heather who also got her car buried. She took about an hour to unbury her car. If you have to do that, make sure you get inside fast because you don't want to end up like Jack Nicholson in the snowbank with snot dripping out of your nose. Or me right now, yeah. <laughs> so Huskies, I know you're not soft. After people see this video, they'll know you're not soft. Make sure you get inside. This isn't gonna turn into a day after tomorrow kind of thing where we have to burn the book to stay warm. If you just wait it out, curl up with that book, we'll get over this and go to classes tomorrow. And I have an exam tomorrow, so I'm not entirely happy, but it's fine. Now Grant and I, we're gonna go eat. Thanks for coming with us on the first edition of Jack's News. I'll see you next time.